Hey folks, so I bought a bunch more stuff at auction, surprise, surprise, and uh, I've got about 20 lots that I went and picked up with an hour and a half drive to go pick the, pick all the stuff up. Um, had been on a lot more, but only got the 20 lots. Um, so anyway, uh, got these two wall sconces, uh, mid-century modern, but they're plastic which I figured um, they're a little smaller than I thought they were and they're actually 12 volts so they're meant for camper trailers that's what they're meant for so I should be able to sell those I would think probably more of an online thing than in the store then got these phallic looking um, bedroom lamps kind of art deco uh, they were 15 for the pair and then they had in a separate lot these two beds uh bed headboard lamps which match the uh the bedside lamps so i picked them up for six bucks so i did all right on those then i got um a bunch of silver plate now i paid twenty dollars for the silver plate figuring there was a pair of uh candle holders that were um sterling silver but as it turns out they were nickel plated or silver plated rather um so basically i'm looking at a bunch of scrap copper and brass so i'll just scrap the uh silver plate in my uh, regular scrap metal um and uh send the glass bits to the thrift shop but uh, most of all the silver plate was just that it was all plate so they're getting pretty good now at separating out the sterling uh so the i'll show you the uh the candle holders in the next lot of stuff i show you in this video but uh although that almost feels sterling but i can't find any markings on it so I don't think it is not by well especially this sort of tone this is more of a plate sort of uh, looking finish so pretty sure that's what it is I'll cut it to make sure but uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is it's just a silver plate but you never know uh, maybe there's a mark on there I don't see but I've looked pretty close I'll let you know if it is, but I don't think it is. It doesn't have the pliability it should. And then there is another couple, again, couple plates, but uh, they're uh, just electric plate nickel silver, electric plate copper. So yeah. Anyway, okay, on to the... So I was just putting away the bedroom lights and I noticed this one, the good one, had a little chip in it, a little crack. So I figured, well, I would, I've got a spare, so I would take the shade out. Lo and behold, it's broken too. <laughs> so much for that. I thought I had a nice set. So yeah, that's one disadvantage with these online auctions. Um, and uh, yeah, just you can't preview and check these things. It's unfortunate, but uh, I'll probably just sell this one as as it is with the set. But still, it's kind of disappointing. Anyway, on to the next batch of stuff. So I'm not going to include the bed lamp with the set. Um, first of all, I found the uh, uh, switch isn't working right, so it's on permanently. Then I looked at this wiring job. This is the rewiring job. They've strung the wire through the plug and then looped the wires around the prongs. That is bizarre. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that weird? That is not how you wire a lamp, folks. You'll get electrocuted that way. That's just bizarre. Man, oh man, that's crazy. That is crazy. I found some really bad wiring in the past, but uh, 
that one kind of takes the cake. Uh, I, I did find one uh, lamp that had been rewired. Uh, it was a pole lamp or a uh, uh, basically a three candle uh, type floor lamp, and the uh, they had wired it into the bottom and then just took cut the wire and just put two wire nuts in there. The rest of the wire inside the lamp was rock hard and just fell apart basically when I took it apart. So yeah, pretty dangerous stuff. When you're dealing with the lamps, make sure you're either selling them as is and put that on your receipt as is or uh, have them rewired properly because you've got some liability there. So you got to be really careful. This I wouldn't sell at all. There's no other chance. Um, I'll try to rewire it. I do have the other one. The switch is good in the other one. So I'll switch out the switches and maybe I'll get a, a decent bed lamp out of it. We'll see. But yeah, that's just bizarre. That is insane. Anyway, on to the next batch of stuff, guys. So here's some more silver plate. Um, basically, this was in that silver plate lot. And this is what I saw were these. Now they're weighted candle holders. Normally when you see these, they're sterling. These ones were electric plate on copper, so no good, just junk. Um, not much copper in them really either. Uh, probably just send them to the thrift store. But uh, yeah, so it's too bad. Uh, and again, all silver plate, no big deal. Uh, there was this napkin ring and they listed it as uh, silver plated question mark with RGT initials on it. And yes, it has RGT on it or RGF, one or the other, uh, but it clearly says sterling silver on it. So, yeah, I guess they missed that. Um, but it uh, is just under the rim here. It says sterling right on it, 925. So that's pretty good. So that was two bucks. So I got some scrap silver pays for the uh, probably the weight wise it probably pays for it and the screw up that I made on the silver plate so that's all right uh, I got some hat pins and hat pin holders uh, they cost me let's see hat pins hat pin holders uh, seven dollars <clears throat> excuse me seven dollars so I got one good hat pin holder I realized too late after I bid that uh, there was a chip on the other one and it was noted so I did miss that. Uh, hat pins are no big deal that I could see. They're just regular hat pins or regular pins essentially. Uh, nothing terribly special. There's a mother of pearl kind of knife there which is kind of neat but and uh, yeah I think that's just a yeah that's nothing. So anyway, I got a hat pin holder for $7. So that's $25, maybe $30. So, okay, on to the next. So here's some more bric-a-brac. Um, the clocks, the two West Clocks clocks, I did buy in a separate lot. Um, 10 bucks for the two of them. Um, this one's not quite as old as I thought it was. I couldn't tell by the photo. It does have a UPC code on the bottom. Um made in the u.s though so i'm not sure if they're still made in the u.s or not but it's got a mid-century modern look to it i'll find out exactly how old it is i'm thinking it's 80s but we'll see um this one's said well used in the uh, description it's actually not too bad uh hands are a little bit discolored though but anyway for 10 bucks worth a shot and Got a uh, knife sharpener or a uh, honing stone, I guess, basically is what it is. And straight razor. This one's kind of odd. It's got a uh, wood grained side and a black side. And it's a fox, according to this, but it says the daisy on uh, the other side. So, yeah, 
made by Warren and McCarthy of Perth, England. Or Scotland? Perth. Where's, Sc where's Perth, guys? Is it England or Scotland? Anyway, uh, Razor. Again, that'll just go in a auction lot again. Head back to auction a strop, which is missing a piece. Tin, which is no big deal. Uh, a couple tea eaten uh, prescription pill boxes. Uh, these are little copper tone plates for heels. Make your heels last longer. Uh, they'll just go in an auction lot as well. There, it's not. Uh, it's been the card's been cut down from something else. So, if it was all complete, if it had the rest of the card here or something, it'd be all right. But it's been cut off. So, anyway, uh, and then congratulations on your new little tax exemption. So, yeah, that's kind of cute. I can put that in the shop for I don't know, fifteen bucks maybe. So anyway, a few other things and a box still with the key. So I don't know, I'll probably separate the key. Maybe sell the key separate. But yeah. Anyway, okay, and then on to the next batch. Okay, so we got uh, three auto coffee makers new in the box. Um, I've got a soft spot for new old stock. So when I saw these and they were going for five bucks, I ended up grabbing them. Um, pretty sure that's what they were was five bucks uh yeah let's see pretty sure pretty sure pretty sure uh four dollars <laughs> so they cost less than two bucks a piece so yeah uh buck something a piece why not auto accessories are, are cool so figured give that a shot anyway uh then there was this lot um it was uh, some collector spoons, serving spoons, six dollars, and it looks like there was a bonus here. Uh, in the spoons, there is a pencil. It looks like a sterling silver pencil. Uh, Ever sharp sterling silver. There we go. There's a bonus. Um, I don't know if that was in the spoons and uh, just got mixed up in the spoons, or whether it was in one of the other lots I bought. But regardless, that's a good piece. That's probably $65, something like that. Maybe more. We'll see. Uh, it's on a chain here that's, not a, that's nothing. But sterling silver spoon, that's a good deal. It's an Eversharp. That was cool. Um, anyway, I bought these spoons uh, for... Let's see, collector spoons was six dollars for all the spoons, and this these aren't going to be anything. They're a souvenir of uh, Manitoba, 1870 to 1970, our centennial, and they're not sterling or anything, so they're no big deal. Um, there's another one, so they'll just go in my big bulk spoon bin that I sell for. Five pounds for fifty dollars, something like that. So sell a ton of spoons. But I bought these because I thought, well, there could be anything in here. I see something good already that's not silver, but uh, could be something decent. Let's see if there's any sterling in here, though, guys. Let's see. Well, we're having problems here. Let's see. There we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There we go. And of course Jake is here investigating. But uh, yeah. Anyway, so we'll check out the spoons here. Um, I'm just going to dig for the one that I think is actually a good... Oh, look at that. There's a bonus straight away. There's a steamship spoon, Princess Louise. That's a $25, $30 spoon. If it cleans up. All right. So that's good. That's a good piece. We've got a baby spoon. Just Roger's plate. Not a big deal. Um... Rogers Brothers Triple Plate, no big deal. 
another baby spoon, silver plate, no big deal. Uh, souvenir spoon, made in Holland, nothing, nothing. Hmm, we're striking out here a little bit. Uh, community plate. Let's see, these Demitas ones, Oneida community plate. Where is that one I saw? There was a shell pattern. Not that one. Not, there it is. There it is, okay. There's a fish fork from Canadian Pacific Railway. That's a good bonus. Right there, the inner scroll. So that's a, probably a 15 to $20 fork. So that's good. I'm gonna make money. And the rest of this, by the looks of it, I'm going to say it's all silver plate. Um, pretty sure it's all silver plate. But I did get some good resaleable pieces in it. So it's all silver plate that I can see. Uh, Reed and Barton. Well, that could be a good, good piece actually. Reed and Barton is a good name. But I think the rest is just run-of-the-mill silver plate that'll go in my dollar bin. Pretty sure. Yep, Rogers. Yeah. Silver plate, silver plate, silver plate. All right. So we did get some good pieces here, though. A steamship spoon and a railway spoon. And uh, that's good there. Like I said, it cost me six bucks, something like that. So we got $45, $50 there. Plus that... Uh, sterling pencil which is 65 probably so we've got a hundred dollars for that six dollar purchase plus all this is a bonus at a buck a piece somewhere down the road you know might get that uh, the Reed and Barton one might actually be something more might be able to sell that who knows um, but uh, yeah at a buck a piece and still making lots of money look at that well worth buying anyway we got still got more to go so then got a Coleman lamp. Now I get $50 for this. Um, at first glance, you would have thought it was a 335 model, uh, which are very common. This is not. It's a 639A. So this is the same model that was used by CP Rail. Uh, this one is not a CP Rail lamp, though, but it is a 639A, scarcer. I suspect this is a $150, $200 lamp, something like that. I'll have to do some checking. Not a lot of comps on this particular lamp, so I'm not 100% sure, but I know it's a hundred and a half anyway, at least. So I gave 50 plus uh, taxes, plus uh, there'd be a buyer's premium as well, I think 10% or something. So probably about 60 bucks thereabouts. So then I got a bunch of fabric, which I normally don't buy. Um, oh, here's something else too. What did I get here? Uh, oh, jewelry. Okay, let's go through the jewelry first. Um, I took a chance on some jewelry. Uh, there was some Victorian stuff, which I thought might have been gold. And I think I was right. Uh, yeah, looks like I did okay here, because the jewelry, I didn't pay a whole lot for, um, I think, uh, let's see, um, what did I pay for the jewelry, I don't know, men's accessories, armband, string tie, oh, that's what it was, ten dollars I paid. Okay, so there, these pins were in there, in the $10 lot, but I recognized them as decent quality. All I saw was that tie bar and these other pins. Now, this tie bar is 10 karat gold, so I did just fine on that uh, for 10 bucks. And this one will be gold too, I suspect. Oh, maybe not. No, nope, gold filled. They're gold plated anyway. Yeah, that's so it's not gold that one, but it was worth a chance. I got one pin that's 10k anyway, at least. And let's see, this one 
appears to be gold as well. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. I don't know for sure. I'll have to look with a uh, magnifier. But I suspect, because it's got seed pearls in it, that it might be gold as well. We'll see. But there's some marks on there that lead me to believe that it's gold. But anyway, we got one tie bar that's gold at least. Um, so did just fine for $10. Got a bolo tie in that lot as well. I don't know if that's going to be worth putting in the shop. But a couple armbands. And a necklace, which is, or a belt, I guess is what that is. So that's nothing. And we got a box for something. Okay. Anyway, let's go through the fabric. I normally don't buy fabric. Um, but I spotted one piece of fabric that was interesting. So I'll show it to you when I get to it. Looks like I got some rag anyway. Some cotton rag. These are flower sacks, I think, is what these are. That have been cut down and then starched um, yeah there's some more fabric uh, we got some velour I guess yeah or something or velvet uh, more now I'm sure some people do well on vintage fabric um, I'm just not really versed on the stuff <laughs> so I'm sure there's some good pieces here I'll maybe do some checking and uh, see see if some of the patterns and stuff are worth anything. But uh, there was just one piece in here that was of interest. And I'm hoping it's still here. Um, got some... Oh, this is a pillowcase. By the looks of it. Oh, no. No, it's not. Piece of ticking, anyway. Whatever that is. I think that's called ticking. Is that what it's called? For beds? um fabric 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 oh boy come on where's the, there it is there's the piece i was looking for roundup i thought that was cool could make that into a pair of kids pajamas or something or curtains or something it's just a cool piece of fabric um cowboy theme so that was worth picking up um the fabric didn't cost me a whole ton um Let's see, what did it cost here? Fabric, fabric, fabric. Where is it? Fabric. Come on. Sewing supplies. Material, large assortment. Six dollars. So anyway, I would have paid six bucks for just that alone. So that's a good little find there. I think that's thirty-five, forty dollars worth of fabric. The rest of this, I don't know. It looks like some rags to me. Um anything else good in here large assortment of fabric yeah that's basically all it is it's just stuff just i don't know is that any good guys that there's a whole raft of that here uh oh we got some black felt that'll be good for lining showcases with so i'll keep that and this other stuff i don't know maybe i'll throw it back into auction it's maybe the best bet for it yeah yeah probably go back into auction i'll take out some of the stuff for rags and the rest of it will go back into auction won't mess with it because i'm not the type to sell fabric somebody else can live with that or work with that okay yeah we'll go on to something else and got some cans three cans for five bucks i was after the grease can right here mainly so and um, this one i'll get eight bucks for or something like that maybe ten bucks so i can plant a flower in it same with this one maybe five bucks or something the grease can probably 25 30 something like that so there's 35 40 dollars there for five bucks that's not bad uh we got another diffuser shade i oh we got a spider as well we got a bonus um anyway eight-legged guest uh got that with a lamp for three dollars the lamp itself it said the shade was damaged i assume they meant the glass but they did mean the silk shade it was damaged so it's garbage um unless 
there's somebody local that does redoes shades I could give them the frame maybe but I got a finny a lot of it and some other parts the lamp is damaged it's cracked right there but I can sell the candle covers I can sell some of the other parts and components I can sell the socket so I'm good yeah, for three bucks I probably have fifty dollars worth of stuff at least so it did all right uh, got a couple other things yet uh, got a paper cutter that was again it was cheap came for five dollars and then also got this wood cradle right here for fifteen dollars uh, it's been refinished um, which is unfortunate uh, I prefer stuff in the original finish but uh, I think it's also missing some stuff I probably wouldn't have bid on it if I had noticed this there's a kind of a ghost image of what looks like a bracket or something um, so yeah but for 15 bucks it was still worth picking up yeah here's another here's where it was so it had probably a little uh, base that would allow the whole thing to rock so yeah but for 15 bucks somebody will maybe still pick it up for 65 75 dollars something like that so yeah got that uh, and then last but not least i got a hair dryer a hallowell hair dryer these are, make really cool lamps um, it's crooked because it's sitting on two wheels they had the other wheel but it was in the auctioneer's truck and the truck wasn't there so they're going to get the wheel to me at a later date which is unfortunate because i can't sell this then until i get that wheel but it's still pretty cool big uh big thing uh it does go up and extends it's, it's uh got great lamp potential anyway really cool and guess what i paid for it guess what i paid for this cool lamp potential hair dryer it was a whole dollar one dollar and i i bid more than that significantly more than a dollar uh but i got it for a dollar so that was pretty cool um you can hook these up as a tri light because there's cold medium and hot so you can actually hook it up to make it into a tri light lamp so really cool if you know your wiring that is but uh yeah neat neat lamp or neat uh <laughs> calling it a lamp already neat hair dryer anyway that's it folks thanks for watching please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing picking thrifting scrapping etc take care folks